Hey, what's up everybody, it's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys a simple but incredible color grading tip that I use on most productions, especially if the grade has a lot of saturation and or pushed colors in the shadows. So in this technique, we're gonna take the darkest parts of the image and we're gonna roll off some saturation in the darkest parts of the shadows. It'll still leave some color in your blacks and shadows. However, it's gonna give you more of a professional look as opposed to having more color in them, as you can see here. So this is without the technique, Look closely in the dark parts of the bottom left corner, the bottom right corner, and even the audio monitors. We've pushed some teal, some blue into the shadows, but now let's take a look at the image with the technique that I'm gonna show you guys. You can see that the darkest parts now look more black with still a lot of the shadows still having some blue or teal in them. As you can see here in this chair, or on some of the blacks of this sweater. These lighter blacks are not really affected, and if we turn off this technique, you'll see that the blue is a little too strong here. Now, if we didn't use this technique and we just dialed back the teal, you would lose the pop in this creative pushed look. But with the technique on, we still keep it, except for the darkest parts. And again, I think this just makes it look more professional. So let's get rid of the technique, and let me show you what it looks like if I were to take off the teal and orange part of the grade. So this is with our color grade being more neutral, and this is the color grade with a little bit of character, again, using that teal and orange. With the technique added, making our darkest darks looking more black, again, removing some of the saturation from the blacks. No stylistic look, stylistic look with our technique. So just to give you a little run through, I have all my color grading nodes taking place before a node with this technique. This is done near the end of our node tree. So I have a node here that I've named shadows, and all you have to do is go to your curves tab in the color page, and here we have a bunch of different curve options. We're gonna go to loom versus sat, which is luminance versus saturation. This allows you to create points in different parts of your luminance, your brightness, the right being the brightest, the left being the darkest, and you can either add or subtract saturation based on the luminance. And you can already see what I've done. I'm gonna reset this node just so I can show you guys how I did it. And when you get into one of these curves, you always have a point in the darks and a point in the brights. All you have to do to add a point is just click somewhere on the line. By holding onto the click, you'll be able to move it wherever you want. Let me take it to the extreme so you can really see the effects. But you can see if I go up, you're adding saturation. If you go below the line, you're desaturating. Now, I generally tend to add a point for this technique somewhere near the darks. And as I make my adjustments, I will move this to wherever I want that fall off to kind of really start to take effect. We're gonna go here towards this vertical line here that's more noticeable. To make your point go perfectly at the 1.0 spot, you could just double click where it says saturation when you have a point selected, and it'll put it right at the 1.0, which is default. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom into some of these dark areas. You can see right here, there's a lot of blue in these dark, dark areas, a little bit more than I would like. So I'm gonna click and drag the left point and start to bring it down. Now, if you go all the way down, those parts are gonna be completely desaturated. I like to have still a little bit in there somewhere, so I usually end up going down maybe about half or a quarter, but this will all depend on your image. But for here, I like it like this. Let's zoom in a little bit towards the audio monitors. Let's disable this node. You see there's too much blue here, I don't like that. Let's re-enable it. Yeah, so that looks black, which is great, while still keeping some of the other shadow parts with blues in them. You can see here with my black hat as well. We still have some blue in there, which gives it that stylistic look that I'm going for, but my darkest shadows don't look blue and amateur. That's disabled. You can see some blue here. Now this node is enabled again with this technique being active. This is a small, subtle adjustment, but it just tightens up the image a bit. Now you can move where it starts to take effect and really adjust how little or how much of the shadows you want to desaturate. This curve here is not gonna work for every single image, so you really have to do this to your taste and your liking. Now, if you have a lot of blacks, a lot of dark shadows in your shot, then make sure you're looking at all the parts in your image so that you don't start to destroy your look. Again, I create a node specifically for this technique and I put it towards the end of my node tree after all the heavy color grading. And this is under the curves tab and it's loom versus sat. So there you guys have it. That's a color grading technique that I think just really puts a finishing touch on a final grade to keep it looking professional. Now on this channel, I do have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials, so go ahead and check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like, comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.